Hey everyone, welcome to the latest episode of the Craft Corner. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use some um, appliques, iron-on appliques in your cards. Now, I may have briefly gone over this in a previous video. I think I showed the durability of the glue I'm going to be using, but um, today I'm going to actually be making a card for you using the appliques, and I'm going to show you how to make a fully furnished, I like to call it, card in under five minutes. So there's no more excuses about not being able to make a card in less than five minutes that looks totally professional and really creative. So let's say you have a birthday coming up for somebody and you want to give them a really nice gift, but you don't have a lot of money, so you want to make the card. Well, if you make the card, you save yourself about anywhere from a dollar to five dollars because some cards, especially the ones that have sound in them nowadays, usually go up to about five dollars. So that's five dollars you could be giving toward the gift. So the first thing you want to do for this card is you want to get yourself a piece of four and a half by six and a half cardstock. The cardstock I'm using I believe it's from the Citrus Pack. It's uh, die cuts with a view paper. It's very shiny and it actually has some embossing and some glitter on it. So I really like this paper for what we're going to be doing. And I've already folded it and I've already bone folded it on the edge. So it's nice and smooth. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our appliques that we want to use. Now you can find these in the sewing part of the craft store. I got a tub of these. I think you get 80 appliques per, bu um, per bucket and it was like four dollars or something for 80. So you don't have to iron them on. You can use a really good adhesive and it works just the same. So you can also get them at Walmart and other places like that. They don't come in value packs as they do in the craft store but it's the same purpose. So you're just going to take your glue and you're going to be very generous because when you're working with appliques you have to make sure that you cover as much of the area as possible with glue because you want it to stick and you don't want it to come loose. Now I'm using Beacon's 3-in-1 Craft Glue. I've talked about this on a must-have of the month on how wonderful it works and I still to this day believe that which is why I use it in all of my hard to adhere projects such as this one. The other thing I like about this glue is that if you get it in the wrong spot you can easily pull it off of your finger or off of the area. So We've got our glue on. So now we're just going to take our flower and we're going to place it right on our card. Like that. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with our other flower. Whoops. Just going to cut this little piece of thread off here. A little extra thread. And then we're just going to put the glue right on this other applique. I'm going to show you how incredibly fast this is. Because I still have a minute left. And I am pretty much done. So I'm just trying to show you how quickly you can get this card completed all the parts. So then you just put your other piece right over top. And I lied them right on top of each other so they overlap. I think this gives them a very um, interesting look where you have this. And now the last piece that we're going to do is we're going to add some little gems to the center of our roses just to you know give it a little bit of a 3d effect and of 
course, you can add them throughout the card if you'd like as well, or you can just keep it right where it is. I think I'll keep it where it is. So, that is our card that we have made in five minutes, and I hope you enjoyed this craft corner tutorial, and you will try to do this at home. Thanks, guys. Bye.